Good morning from Studio 57 in New York City. It's just about 9 a.m. on the East Coast, 6 a.m. out west. I'm Vladimir Dutier. And I'm Anne Marie Green. And here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. A special counsel clears President Biden of mishandling classified documents, but accuses him of being, quote, an elderly man with a poor memory. We have the president's fiery response. The Senate votes to advance a foreign aid package for Ukraine and Israel. We'll discuss the odds of that legislation passing in a deeply divided Congress. Donald Trump coasts to victory in the Nevada caucuses as the Supreme Court weighs in, or weigh, rather weighs his eligibility to appear on Colorado's primary ballot. And in his strongest criticism yet, President Biden says Israel's war against Hamas has been, quote, over the top. We will have the latest on efforts to broker a ceasefire and a hostage release deal. And mega fans of celebrities like Beyonce and Taylor Swift are becoming more and more common, but are they bordering on obsession? So later on this hour, we're going to explore sometimes, sometimes toxic impact of stan culture. You know what a stan yeah, is? Yeah. I, like I'm an Elvis, especially when I was younger, I was a huge Elvis stan. Like yeah. I would go as Elvis every Halloween. Like we did this thing where I can recognize every Elvis song yeah, yeah, like yeah. within like a that. second yeah. of like it playing. I mean, I knew every detail about his life. I went to Graceland many times. Yeah. Is that, am I a stan? You are a stan. You are an Elvis <laughs> stan. But the problem is with the emergence of social media, the ability to dox people, being oh. an obsessive stan, fan, and stan stands for stalker fan, but being obsessive can, can sort of drift into a discomfort, obsession, oh. violence maybe. See, like, so I'm, we're going to take I a look that at that. I think the fact that I'm a New Yorker, like, I, I'm a stan about, like, for example, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. If I see Bruce Springsteen, like, on the street, I will not approach. Yeah. Because, like, I'm a New Yorker, even right. though I'm obsessive, like, Bruce Springsteen fan. Yeah. So, well, we're, we're going to get into I it. I have a lot to say about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. this morning, let's begin with President Biden's heated response to the special counsel's report on his handling of classified documents. The president was cleared of criminal wrongdoing, but during an unscheduled primetime news conference, he strongly disputed an opinion expressed by the special counsel about his ability to recall key events. Our Ouija Jang has more on this. Ouija, good morning. Good morning to you, Vlad and Anne-Marie. Good morning to everybody. The White House is on damage control after that report described the president's memory as, quote, hazy and poor. And inside the room, you could sense how angry he was. The president did not hold back at all, and he insisted he is the most qualified person to lead the country. Mr. President, 